Hello! Uh, so I'm going to make a follow-up video from uh, yesterday's video uh, about how I train and that topic is about motivation! This question gets asked so many times to me online and all that so you probably know the answer already. How do I stay motivated Justin to train every day? And I do train every day, okay? So you know the answer I think you know what I'm going to say. The answer is, I don't have motivation, I just do it. So how do you get motivated to brush your teeth every day? How do you get motivated to take a shower every day? How do you get motivated to just wake up every day? Well, there is a reward or there's a consequence. So if, it, if you don't brush your teeth every day, what's gonna happen? You're going to get cavities your teeth is going to get messed up and you're going to have to spend thousands of dollars at the dentist and it's going to be very painful. So you avoid the, p the pain, right? Or your maybe your your eye your your mindset is like the glass is full, right? So okay, if I brush my teeth every day, I'm going to get pearly white teeth, just like a Hollywood star that I want to emulate, okay? So it depends on what your mindset is when it comes to doing something every day. So for me, I just train because if I don't train, I'm going to get grumpy. It's like if you don't walk your dog every day, if you don't let your dog go out and poop every day, what's going to happen? That dog's going to get agitated, angry, grumpy. It's not going to behave. It's not going to listen to you. You probably know this, pet owners, all right? So I train every day and uh, I think of it, my training wise, I think of my training like a puzzle to solve. Okay, so when I started, so for example, like learning handstands, okay? When I saw someone do a handstand on video, that piqued my interest because I'd never seen anyone do something like that. And then I saw someone do a handstand in real life that cemented that reality, like this is possible, people can do this. And then I started trying it. And I, because I was curious. And then that curiosity led me to, to do one handstand and then I got handstand push-ups. And then I can do like spins on my handstand. I can walk, I can jump, hop, whatever. And now I'm at the point where I'm trying to perfect the one-arm handstand. So can you see where my trail, my journey has led? And for you, you just need to pick something that piques your interest and just go down that rabbit hole, okay? So if you wanna run faster, if you wanna jump higher, if you want to do a muscle up, whatever that fitness thing that, that piques your interest, your curiosity, follow that instinct, go with the flow and just see where it takes you. And then eventually, once you build up several of these skills, so for example, like you'll, you'll learn a handstand and then you go to the next challenge. Okay, yeah, I'll learn a muscle up. And then you can combine the two, which, which is what I did. I can do a muscle up into a handstand. And then you start building these blocks. And then all of a sudden, you've developed a vocabulary that you can express yourself that most people can't. And then people will look to you and say, oh my God, you run so well. Or, oh my God, you have excellent flexibility. It's like, for example, yesterday, I was at the gym. And this girl, she was doing like clean, clean pull-ups on the bar. Like no, no wrist wraps, nothing, no chalk. And she just went at it. She just did, she cranked out 10 clean pull-ups. After that, she went down to the stretching area and she did like middle splits. She just, no effort, just went right straight into it. And then her belly touched the floor. Like everyone was like, wow. And I, I spoke to her and then she has, guess what? She has a background in rock climbing. She's a rock climber. So there you go. Like she went on a different path compared to myself, but I know exactly how she went or how she started, right? She started from like, oh, some, that's interesting. Someone's climbing a wall. Maybe she saw a video and then she saw it in real life and she, it further cemented that idea. Like it's possible that I can do this. And then she just kept at it. And for a long time, I have never seen 
a girl perform 10 clean pull-ups like she did yesterday. And uh, to me, that was very impressive. So it doesn't have to be what I do. It doesn't have to be what someone else does. It has to be something that, that piques your interest. So you gotta find it, okay? It could be swimming, running, cycling, gymnastics, b-boying, whatever. Just find it, okay? You have something that piques your interest physically. And just go down that rabbit hole. And you'll notice that it will become an obsession. You will want to practice it every day if you are curious enough, if you're obsessed like I am. So that's why you have to train every day. You have to brush your teeth every day. You gotta eat every day. You gotta get up every day. Because if you don't, there's a consequence or there's a reward. Depends on how the way you see it, okay? So I hope that clarifies this question. If uh, you have any more questions, leave them down below for the comments and perhaps we can make a follow-up video. And if you need online personal training with me, Justin, there's a link down below. Click that link and we can get started, okay? So thanks for watching. Train hard. Be water, my friend. Bye.